Hi, Claude Pallon here from Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be a, a continuation of the WordPress series, and this time I'm going to go through in greater detail how you insert an image into a post. So let's go to Posts. We have a post here, which is a draft. Now, I created that by coming to Posts, clicking Add New, and then a little earlier, and then I came in and added some content just to have some content. And this is about WordPress options. There are different types of WordPress options, and this explains what it is. Uh, let's put that in there. Uh, and I really don't really feel like bolding it, but I do feel like giving it an H2. So and I, the reason I want to do that is that I have an H1 title, WordPress option. This will be my H2, and here are the different options. So now, uh, if you're going to pick an image, you're going to want to place your cursor wherever you want that image to appear. Now, that's a mistake I always make. Uh, because I, I, I go and look for my image and I forgot where I put my cursor. So put the cursor wherever you want it. In this case, I'm going to put it uh, after, below the title and uh, at, at, with the first paragraph. And then I'm going to come up here to this icon and I'm going to click Add an Image. And then I'm going to go Select Files and I'm going to look on my desktop if I find one. And here's one right here. So I'm going to pick that one. I'm going to open it. And in this dialog box here, it's, I'm going to write some information. And I'm going to put WordPress.com because that's the icon is a representative of the hosted version of WordPress. And so that's WordPress.com. The alt text is very important uh, because it tells the search engines what this image is about. Uh, search engines can't read what an image is, so very often they need to be aided and told, and that's what you want to put the alternate text in there for. I'm just going to put WordPress.com image, and then I'm going to put the caption WordPress.com, and I'm going to put WordPress.com the hosted version of WordPress. Now, below here, you can select whether you want to place your image on the right, the center, the left, etc. I'm going to put it on the right. You can put a thumbnail or you can put a full size, 225 by 225. I'm going to put a thumbnail and then I'm going to click Insert into Post. And there it is. So now I've taken this image, which is WordPress.com, and I've inserted it into the post. That's how you uh, insert an image. Um, now, if you want to, I, let's try to do, insert a second image. This time I'm going to put it uh, between the second and third paragraph, and we'll repeat the process. We're going to go in here, just for the purposes of this lesson. We're going to come down here, and we're going to get to WordPress.org, which is another type of uh, image, and uh, it looks kind of strange to me. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Dot com. There's the one I want. Okay, so it's WordPress.org. I'm going to open that. And same process. I'm going to put in here, this is the most important part of this lesson. Title is WordPress.org. I want the alt text to say WordPress.org image. I want the caption to read WordPress.org and is the self-hosted version of WordPress. That's a different type. This is a different type of WordPress. 
which people. Again, we'll go with a thumbnail. We'll put it on the right. We'll insert and bingo. So now we can see here, gee, this doesn't look too good as a thumbnail, right? It doesn't look too good. So I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to come back here where I was before. And I'm going to come back here again. I want to get rid of all this. I want to come back here, put my, put my cursor where it was. I'll leave it there. And then I'm going to go and give it another shot. All right, so you come back here for image. And we're going to repeat the process. There it is. So it, it, you can see that uh, copy that, make sure the all important alt text. That's really more important almost than the caption or the description, in my view, because uh, so you just remember to, to fill in the let's just go do this. Okay, we're going to go full size. We're going to go on the right. We're going to insert the image. And now we have a better looking image here on the right. Uh, that's how you insert an image using the image um, icon and how you properly insert the information into the screen image box so that you get full optimization with the search engines. Then I want to come up here and save my draft. I can come up here and preview the post and you know there it is. And if I'm happy with the content I come back here and click publish. But remember, I haven't done some key things which I have to come back and do. I have to create a category here for WordPress options. I want to add that category. And that's the one I'm going to put this article in. I want to create some tags. And you want to remember to do this religiously. So WordPress.com, WordPress options, hosted WordPress. You get the idea here. You have to do a little research, self-hosted. WordPress, etc. And what I'm going to also do, so I would add the tags. I'd come down here to the SEO, all in one SEO, type in my title, get that in. Type in my description and then type in my keywords even though I'm told that the keyword and I would put uh, WP hosted WP self hosted etc I mean you get the picture here you want to do that. Then once you get your uh, SEO set up, you can publish. So now you've created a post that's optimized. You've got your images in. You have them set up properly. Uh, you have your SEO set up properly. You've got your tags and you're ready to go. If you want to view the post, you click on view post and there it is. So that's how you insert images properly into your WordPress blog. I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Pilon at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay well, stay with it, and we'll talk to you soon.